Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Usually I don't receive visitors at this hour. How may I be of service to you this evening, cadet? Oh? You've been wondering something? Well, then I'm sure I can assist you. Please, have a seat. Oh, come now, cadet. We may be here for a while. You'll want to get comfortable. You seem a bit... uneasy, cadet. You're not worried that I'll try feeding you to a titan, are you? Oh, relax. I'm only kidding. I haven't gotten to those kinds of experiments yet. Besides, we already know what happens to a titan and a human when a human is consumed by a titan. That wouldn't be a very fun experiment. Really, I must insist that you sit down. After all, the last time I explained something to someone, I ended up lecturing them all night long. Oh no, I'll try not to keep you all night, but you might want to get comfortable. This is going to be probably a long lecture. You still seem a bit uneasy. Is there something that's making you nervous? It's about something going on in your mind. All right. Do you think that you need to speak with a therapist or something like that? Because if that's the case, I am the last person you want to talk to. Believe me, I'm more psychotic than most of the people here, and, well, that doesn't usually make for good advice giving. Oh? It's nothing like that. All right, then, what is it? It's about your identity. What do you mean by that, cadet? Recently, you've been feeling uncomfortable when certain people address you a certain way? All right, could you give me some examples? Oh, I see. So you've become slightly uncomfortable with your current pronouns. And do you perhaps feel comfortable with pronouns of the opposite gender? You're not sure. Well, how about we further discuss how it is you're feeling, all right? And we can determine something from there. How does that sound? Well, I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take, and I'm not certain if it'll yield the results you want, but it is worth a shot, don't you think? All right, now, what exactly do you feel? You said that you were... Uncomfortable when you're addressed by certain pronouns, yes? And your name. Well, your given name, I should say. After all, if you're uncomfortable with the given name, then you can just change it to something else. Of course. After all, I do have your file right here. I could easily change your record. Right, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now... It's your pronouns and your given name that make you uncomfortable, yes? Anything else? Looking in the mirror. Ah, I see. Cadet, are you perhaps familiar with the term dysphoria? Dysphoria is... How shall I describe it? From my knowledge, it is a feeling of dissatisfaction with how your body looks based on how you identify in terms of gender, that is. And usually it is body dysphoria. However, it can also present itself as social dysphoria, which tends to be stuff like names or picking teams for certain things or sometimes just picking the right bathroom or locker room to use. Does that make sense? You think that's what you're feeling? All right, well, that gives us a good basis to go on. Now, you said that you weren't sure if perhaps the pronouns and a name typically associated with the opposite gender would be better suited for you. How about we try a little exercise, all right? Now, I am going to use some of the pronouns that are typically used to describe people and I'm going to apply them all to you, okay? All right. The purpose of this exercise is to see what makes you the most uncomfortable and what makes you the most comfortable. Does that sound all right with you? Absolutely. Everything that we say here will stay between us until otherwise specified. 
Nothing you say will leave this room or my mouth. And trust me, I have a pretty loud mouth, but I'm good at keeping secrets. Especially important secrets like this, if you're not ready to share it, of course. Now, I am going to attempt to perform this exercise and perhaps even gauge your reactions. Because, you see, sometimes when a person is going through some gender confusion, they're just confused all the time. Sometimes that means that experimenting with other pronouns doesn't always register in their mind. It's almost like having to go for an eye exam and getting glasses. You want to say that one seems a bit clearer to you, but sometimes it can be difficult to tell the difference, especially if it comes to your feelings when you're confused. So, I am going to try to gauge your reactions, and of course, any information you can give me will be helpful. All right, let's begin. You are a boy. You go by he, him. All right, next one. You are a girl. You go by she, her. Interesting. Next one. You are non-binary. You go by they, them. Hmm. You are a demigirl. You go by she, they. You are a demi-boy. You go by he, they. Hmm. All right. Now, tell me how you felt during this. You felt uncomfortable most of the time? I see. Perhaps we moved too quickly. All right. Tell me how these pronouns feel with you. She, her. Not really comfortable with you? All right, that's fine. What about he, him? All right. She, they? A little more comfortable? All right, that's good. He, they. Still about the same, but not quite comfortable yet. Okay. They, them. They, them? All right, in that case, Cadet, have you been experiencing feelings of perhaps not knowing whether to present feminine or masculine or a mix of both or neither? All right. Usually when people are feeling this way, it can mean that they are non-binary. Now, that doesn't automatically mean you're non-binary. It is just typically associated with that. Usually such dysphoria is accompanied by wanting to go by they, them pronouns or feeling most comfortable with they, them pronouns. So tell me, Cadet, do you think you'd want to try using they, them pronouns? Oh, of course, I can tell you more about what non-binary means. Now, what non-binary means is you don't go along with the typical gender binary of male or female. It's almost seen as, at least these days, a third part of the binary, which, of course, is not true. It is not binary in any sense of the word. It is non-binary. That's why it's called that. Some people go by NB, of course. It is short for non-binary. And usually they go by they, them pronouns. Of course, you can also go by she, they, or he, they. And, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. What it means is that you aren't particularly feminine or masculine. You're not male or female. Well, that is a bit of a puzzler. You see, there's no true genderless, I suppose, body type. While some people can be born with the sex organs of both male and female, or the chromosomes for both male and female, there isn't really much that can be done about dysphoria. You see, in terms of, well, certain physical attributes, there is no real in-between. Do you know what I mean? Well, there are some things that people do to appear more... How shall I put this? Some people prefer to present feminine, some masculine, 
Some a mix of both, some they don't exactly want you to be able to tell. So, for instance, people with a female body type, they might try a binder, or something similar, that is, in order to make their chest seem a bit flatter, you know? And people with a male body type might wear looser clothing in order to hide some more, well, male-associated attributes of their body. As for other methods, a lot can be done with your hair. If you want to appear as neither particularly feminine or masculine, then you might want to grow your hair longer or cut it so that you can almost bridge the gap between masculinity and femininity so that then you don't appear specifically either. Of course, you can still be non-binary and present more masculine or more feminine. You can also choose to appear as neither or a mix of both. It really all depends on what you're comfortable with, though. Hmm? Do I think that the others would be accepting of you if you were non-binary? If you do come to realize that you are non-binary, well, I think most of them would be a bit confused at first. After all, most people typically think of gender as male or female and nothing else. Of course, there is the slightest chance that some will be close-minded. However, in the survey court, let's face it, People are going to die no matter what gender they are. I don't think they have time to care about that. <laughs> and as for other squad leaders and the commander, of course they'll be accepting. After all, they've lost so many people, and I, of course, don't mean to frighten you by saying this, but oftentimes it is easier to lose someone who identifies as perhaps a gender that is different from the one they were assigned at birth, and they don't receive the respect that they deserve. So it's easier to lose someone who is non-binary and is still treated as someone who is cisgender. Yes, that is the sad reality of the world we're living in. And most of it is due to people who just aren't open-minded, and who don't know fucking human decency. My apologies, cadet, for my language. It's just... I do understand what you're going through. And I want you to feel as comfortable in your own skin as possible. So if anyone decides that they don't want to respect your pronouns, and if you decide to change your name, your name, send them to me. Maybe then I can get approval for experiments in feeding humans to titans. Yes, I am being absolutely serious. Everyone deserves to be respected, including you. Especially you. Cadet, you are willing to give your life for the betterment of humanity's future. You deserve respect. Especially something as simple as this. Well, simple for others... Not exactly simple for you. Honey, the most that we have to do is learn new pronouns, remember to use them, and if you decide to change your name, learn a new name and remember to use it. That is all we have to do. The rest is just treating you the same way we did before, with respect and kindness. So if people are really too fucking lazy to do that, honey... They are not worth your time, all right? Good. And do you want to keep this between us for now? All right. And when you do want to come out to the others, if you ever feel confident enough to do so, please let me know, because I do want to be there for you. I want to be there to... Knock the heads of anyone who dares to disrespect you. And of course, I want to make sure that if anyone has any questions that perhaps you can't answer, I'll be able to answer them, okay? Alright. Oh my, it's getting rather late, isn't it? Why don't you run along to bed, cadet? If you want, we can talk more in the morning. Alright, sounds good. 
Sleep well.